I got a real funny story that led up to his passing. I was on the road with Kevin Sullivan for Scott Wilder Productions. We were out um, an, out about in Albany of last weekend and uh, two weekends ago. We were out on the road. Kevin and I were, uh, we did a couple appearances, a wrestling show in uh, Woonsocket, Rhode Island for uh, New World Wrestling Extreme, which is run by James Allen, the trooper. So we had a good time up there and then we came back and we went to Albany. We did a, a virtual signing and a, an in-store signing at Heroes Hideout. And then we came back on that Monday and we did the Monty and the Pharaoh show, which is one of the top rated shows in the New York area. It's not a podcast. It's like a variety show. If you really had to ask and animal did that before he did it with JJ McGuire and, and a couple other guys. Animal knows we're away all weekend. He, he keeps calling us when he knows we're on the road in between dates to bust Kevin and ask Kevin how he's feeling. And there was a reason to it. He kept saying, so Kevin, how you feeling? How you feeling? You all rested up? And Kevin would go, yeah, yeah, I'm rested up. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now Animal knew what, what was going on because <laughs> he kind of put me up to it. <laughs> so <laughs> Kevin wasn't rested up. See, Joe told me, I'll make sure that Kevin gets some kind of wake-up call every morning at 5.45 a.m. and 4.45 a.m. So <laughs> Friday night into Saturday, I go into in Kevin's hotel room, and I pop out of my hotel room going to his, and I fuck with his the alarm clock that's this right next to the phone, and I set it for every hour on the hour. <laughs> for 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. And then to 6 a.m. We had to be in New York, Queens, New York at 10. He was doing an appearance with Greg at a store over there. And I wasn't doing the appearance. I was just going with him for it. So that was the only event that I was not on that weekend. So I, he got his alarms, the alarm clock set off. Right away, Kevin goes, you know what? Some fucking prick that had the room before us must have set the alarm every hour on the hour. Because they kept waking me up and waking me up and waking me up. In the meantime, I'm sitting thinking to myself, this is too fucking funny. Can't happen again. Can I possibly do it again? I go into the hotel room. Now we're in Albany. We, we went from Queens to Rhode Island. I wrestled. Kevin signed at the wrestling show. And then from Rhode Island, we drove to Albany. Went got something to eat. Had a few drinks with Greg, Valentine, and uh, Scott Wilder. We uh, <laughs> check into the hotel now. Kevin sees me over by the alarm clock. Kevin walks over and pulls the alarm clock out of the wall and throws it in the closet. <laughs> he said, I'm not going to with this shit. So now I'm thinking, all right, I've got to figure a way to do this. Kevin leaves his phone on the bed. I take his phone. It's an iPhone like mine. I know how to use it. I'm very adept at iPhones. So I set his alarm clock for every hour on the hour. 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. So, oh, uh, so now that goes off. Kevin's alarm goes off. So now he's pissed. Now he knows I'm behind it. But he's not saying nothing. Right. Now I don't get to fucking sleep when I'm with you. I know, I know what's going on. I'm like, what's going on, Kevin? What are you talking about? He goes, Oh, you know, and he's, he's giving me that look, you know, that the, the Boston Battler was coming out of the devil's eyes, you know, and I'm, and I was sitting here laughing and, and Joe's texting me, did you get him? Did you get him? And I'm texting Joe. I got him. I got him again. And so now Joe calls us up while we're driving, while we're driving to the Heroes Hideout you know, in Albany that afternoon. And I told him what I did, that I got his phone. He threw out the alarm clock. He says, so what the hell do I got to do now? So. Joe goes, I don't know. I don't know how you're going to get him. Maybe set the alarm in the closet. <laughs> Plug it in the closet and do it. So I, <laughs> I, I did that. There were no outlets, so I couldn't get the alarm to work. And Kevin made sure it was shut down. He made sure he held his phone around me. So I went, I went to the front desk as soon as he checked in at the end of that Sunday night. And I told him, I said, I need a 5 o'clock and a 6 o'clock wake up in his room. Oh, and sure God. enough, they got him that morning. They got him bright and early. All I got to tell you was he came like a barrel of freaking monkeys banging on my door. 6 a.m. going, yeah, fuck. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. I got you now, you fucking... He goes, he's laughing, but he's laughing. He's mad, but he's laughing. He's like, he's like, oh, this is the best one in a long time. So we had some fun. So now we talked to Joe that Saturday. And I talked to him that Sunday afternoon. Monday morning, I posted on Facebook, dropping the devil off at the JFK airport. So now Joe knows that that was at 5 a.m. And he knows that I'm probably just barely getting into bed. So Joe calls me up with a 6.45 wake-up call to me. He goes, he goes, I said, are you fucking kidding me? He goes, well, I figured since you, you fucking rattled the devil for three nights in a row, I can, I can kind of get you now. <laughs> 